in order to create edmx file right click on data layer go to add click on new button new item click on data click on edu.net into data model give your name suppose i am giving name upload next step is selecting model content select entity pen of designer from database click on next click on new connection here you need to put your server name my server name is putting your server name you can see your database is available to you select upload images database that we have created for storing our image name and test connect now click on ok see here this this is your newly created connection screen this connection screen you need to put into your into your web.config file into your web application click on next here you can select your versions click on next now select your entities suppose for this project i am using only image upload table so i will select that image upload table you can select your four procedures to use if they are in your project click on finish see it is generating our edms file we are having only one entity in our database so our ED, so our pdm diagram contains this single table let me show you see here our pdm diagram is created keep in mind that if you create your edmx file then you need to update your connection string into your web application 